Today, I want to show you how to put a podcast player right into your WordPress website so that casual visitors can come and have a play, listen to your show, or your loyal subscribers can go and listen back to your episodes. Let's take a look at how it works. Today, we're looking at podcast players and how to get them embedded into your website. Now, there's a whole bunch of reasons why you might want to do this. Generally, you want to get your player, your podcast onto your own brand website. That might well be a podcast website built with WordPress. For example, WordPress, one of the most common ways out there to build a site. And we have our full course on how to build a WordPress site on our website. You just go over to thepodcasthost.com forward slash website. That's forward slash website. And you'll see how to set up a podcast website in WordPress. But once you get to that, how do you get your players into the WordPress website? Well, what you want to do is put your players into the show notes, okay? So you've got a show notes page. Let's have a look at the site just now. So here is an example show notes page on our podcast host website. If you go to our podcast top right, you'll see we have allocated a category within our site for our podcast. And within there are all the pages that contain each podcast episode. Every podcast episode has its own blog post, essentially, within WordPress. So this is one blog post. You've got title, summary. Uh, show notes might look something like this. You've got a, a summary paragraph at the top here. You've got a show outline. You've got resources mentioned. We've actually got a really good resource on how to create great show notes too, if you want to check that out. That's over at thepodcasthost.com forward slash show notes. You'll get that article there. That'll show you how to create show notes that really engage people. But for now, let's look at the players. So the two hosts that I'm going to look at here are Buzzsprout and Captivate, okay? Two of the hosts that we recommend. That's kind of our top two hosts, really the ones we recommend for just about everybody. But there are plenty of other good hosts out there. So if you do use another podcast host, it will be the same method, really. So don't despair. I'll show you how to do it with any host, but I'll show you in particular with Buzzsprout and Captivate. So what we need to do is go into edit post in the site. Here's where I'm going to put it in. What we're going to do here is grab a piece of HTML, a little HTML snippet and place it in here. And I would tend to put the player right at the top um, just behind the summary, I should say. Not quite right at the top, but give the summary to entice people to hit that play button and then we'll put it in here, okay? So what I would do is put it here. And what you're going to do is press plus on there. So that's in WordPress. Uh, WordPress changes all the time. So if this has changed, you're, you're just adding a new block in Gutenberg, whatever that looks like right now. And you're looking for the custom HTML block here. You can always type it in at the top if it doesn't show up straight away and you've got custom HTML. And that gives you this little box which says write HTML. So all we need now is the code to put in there. And that's where we go to our podcast host. So I'm going to pop over to Buzzsprout first. So Buzzsprout, we have Podcraft hosted in here. So let's say I want to embed the latest episode. How you find your player code is you find the episode itself. So you're in the episode section in Buzzsprout, similar with any host, and I'll show you in Captivate in just a second too, but any host will be the same really. You find the episode. So I'm going to go to here, into this episode. This is the episode page in Buzzsprout, and that is the player. That is what we're going to embed. To do that, go over to the right here, and we're scrolling down on the right, we've got more options, embed this one episode. Now it does say embed this one episode because you do have the option, if you go into players, to have a player which shows the latest episode. Okay, so options, all episodes, all art. In fact, that one's for each episode. That one will show you uh, lots of different ones. You've got multiple episodes in one player down here. So that's a player which actually shows the most recent and then all of the previous ones. And you can filter them. So five most recent, 10 most recent, only with certain tags, if you want to just show a few separate ones. Um, and you can go by artist as well. And you can do that up here too. All right, but let's go back to episodes. Say we want to get just one particular one, going into this one, embed this one episode, and all we need is this code. So in Buzzsprout, you click it once, copy embed code, and that is it in our clipboard now. So 
back to the post and all I'm doing is pasting that in here. So custom HTML, paste it in. That's a bit of HTML. You don't need to know anything about how this works. It just will, don't you worry. And then all we do is hit preview and we'll see how this looks. Now it'll load up the preview so that we can see that player in action. And you'll see that's appeared right where we wanted it to, right below the code. And that is it, essentially, that is your post. That's the show notes showing up in your, sorry, the player showing up in your show notes. I would often put it just above the show outline as well. You've got your little, um, you know, your time codes talking about the different sections because then people can come along, they can hit play, they can listen to a little bit of it. It's loading up now, it's loading up. And then we're going to play. And they can listen to it and they can flick through, they can go to the right time codes, they can play around. And that's the big benefit really of having a player on your site because it means that people who find your podcast randomly on the web or maybe they've found you on Apple Podcasts and they want to get a wee picture of how you sound, they might pop over here, find an episode, and then listen through. And they might find a section that's most relevant to them as well. Similar with your loyal subscribers too. This is a great resource for them now because they can go back, they can have listened to this in their podcast player on their smartphone, on the go, and then they come back here and they listen again to any particular section that suits them, you know. I heard this 15 minute point. It was, uh, you know, this section really relevant to me. So I'm going to go and listen to that. That's what people do. So let's look quickly at how we do that with Captivate as well. So I'll go back to the editor. I'm going to delete the code from Buzzsprout. So we're blank again. Go over to Captivate. And again, in Captivate, we're looking for the episodes section. So we click that on the left and then we see all of our recent episodes. And in Captivate, you can do it right from this page here because all you do is click the share button. So the little kind of ubiquitous standard icon for share. Click that and there's a few different things in here. One of which is embed on your website. So we've got again, a very similar looking bit of code. Copy that, pop back over to here, the edit screen. I'm gonna paste that in here and preview and we'll see how it looks with a Captivate player instead. Loading up, there we go, that's the Captivate player too. So that's how it works, that's how you can embed a player into your WordPress website. Again, if you want to uh, go and find out how to create a WordPress website in the first place, thepodcasthost.com forward slash website. And if you're looking for a host with better players, uh, so if you want to improve your players, you're using a host that doesn't have the nicest players. I really recommend Buzzsprout and Captivate, both of them really good hosts. All you have to do is go over to thepodcasthost.com forward slash hosting and you'll be taken to our hosting article. Or if it's Buzzsprout or Captivate, all you do is put their names on the end of our URL, thepodcasthost.com forward slash Buzzsprout or thepodcasthost.com forward slash Captivate. And there are affiliate links, if you didn't mind using them, help support our content. It'd be very much appreciated. Well, thanks again. That was a video from thepodcasthost.com. I'm Colin Gray, taking you through how to put players onto your WordPress website. Please do hit subscribe so that you get all the new videos that are popping up and go and visit our website over at thepodcasthost.com. I'll see you on the next one. 